Hi everyone and welcome back. So here we are discussing about the architecture of uh, Booking Clone app. So I hope you have already seen Booking because this is a most prominent website for the hotel booking. And we are trying to just uh, build one simple clone application for this. Okay. So first we will try to understand the architecture, whatever the architecture we are going to follow to build this application. So we are not going to build a complex microservices and all. I'm going to make it a little simple because I already have a Udemy clone and a Airbnb clone with lots of microservices already going. This is going to be a, a monolith application using Next.js. So I'm going to build a Next.js uh, server side API that is going to access the Prisma ORM and that's going to insert, update, delete the data. And there will be a Next.js client side pages that is going to request a data. It can be server side pages or client side pages. They are going to request data. So server side pages can directly get the data from the Prisma. Client side pages has to access the Next.js, sorry, Next.js APIs and get the data from it. And we are using Next Auth library that will simplify our authentication. Either we can authenticate user with the username password, which is stored in the Prisma ORM, Prisma database. I mean, Prisma ORM and getting the data from the Postgres database or we can also allow user to log in directly from Google, Facebook, Twitter or any other social account. That is what next auth will take care. We are going to just register this Google provider or Facebook provider or Twitter provider as an auth provider. So you just need to have account there and you can just do the login. So this is pretty much simple architecture. Next is yes, uh, rendered UI components. UI pages are going to make an API call to the next year server side. And we will be building a API router in the next JS APIs. So you can build a authentication APIs, orders API, listing APIs, checkout, booking, payment, all these APIs you can build. Those APIs are server side. So that means they can access Prisma, they can access Prisma client, they can access and they can access any Prisma model and they can fetch the data, insert data, update data, delete data. And we need to manage the session and how we are checking the session session check will happen through the next auth because next auth will give us the hooks get server side session if session exists based on your role based on uh, your user id you can do some operation similarly next auth also provides the session to the client side component using use session hook so we will know that user is logged in uh, on the ui pages or not if user not, not logged in send him to the login page we can build a simple middleware in the next JS, which will take care of user session. Okay, user is not authenticated, not logged in, send it to the login. If user is session already exists, take him to the dashboard page where or dashboard or landing page where he can start exploring or start searching for the hotels where he wants to stay. So these are the different models we are going to build users, booking, listing, payment, orders, hotel features, right? Because we are going to list down all the hotels based on their categories okay and there are lots of properties we can manage based on the hotel features like amenities what all different amenities the hotel provides what all features uh, what are the prices and all those sort of things because this can be a very big data set so stay tuned and i'm going to post uh, next set of videos we will build some landing page and then we will start writing the api routes First, we will configure the next auth, next auth with the credential provider because we want user to log in with the email password also and also use a Google and Facebook. And we are not calling the external APIs. We are our APIs are written in the next JS only that is getting data from the Prisma client using Prisma ORM. So it's you can say it's a one server side monolith, which is also rendering the components and the client side pages and also having the APIs which is getting the data from the Prisma and the next auth is a library, which is really popular to manage the session at the client and the server side at the same time. So stay tuned. I will be putting more and more efforts in building this full stack uh, clone application without doing too many fancy things.